45 years, for 45 years, the United States Supreme Court has recognized the college's freedom to decide how, how to build diverse student bodies and to meet their responsibility of opening doors of opportunity for every single American. <clears throat> in case after case, including recently, as just as a few years ago in 2016, the court has affirmed and reaffirmed this view that colleges could use race not as a determinative factor for admission, but as one of the factors among many in deciding who to admit from a, quali from a qualified, already qualified pool of applicants. Today, the court once again walked away from decades of precedent and make, as the dissent has made clear. The dissent states in today's decision, quote, rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress, end of quote. I agree with that statement from the dissents from the dissent. <clears throat> the court has effectively ended affirmative action in college admissions. And I strongly, strongly disagree with the court's decision. Because affirmative action is so misunderstood, I want to be clear, make sure everybody's clear about what the law has been and what it has not been until today. Many people wrongly believe that affirmative action allows unqualified students, unqualified students to be admitted ahead of qualified students. This is not this is not how college admissions work. Rather, colleges set out standards for admission, and every student, every student has to meet those standards. Then and only then, after first meeting the qualifications required by the school, do college look at other factors in addition to their grades, such as race. The way it works in practice is this. Colleges first establish a qualified pool of candidates based on meeting certain grade, test scores, and other criteria. Then and only then, then and only then, it is from this pool of applicants, all of whom have already met the school standards, that the class is chosen after weighing a wide range of factors, among them being race. You know, I've always believed that one of the greatest strengths of America, you're tired of hearing me say it, is our diversity. But I believe that. If you have any doubt about this, just look at the United States military. The finest fighting force in the history of the world. It's been a model of diversity. And it has not only been our, made our nation better, stronger, but safer. I believe the same is true for our schools. I've always believed that the promise of America is big enough for everyone to succeed, and that every generation of Americans, we have benefited by opening the doors of opportunity just a little bit wider to include those who've been left behind. I believe our colleges are stronger when they're racially diverse. Our nation is stronger because we use, because we are tapping into the full range of talent in this nation. I also believe that while talent, creativity, and hard work are everywhere across this country, not equal opportunity, it is not everywhere across this country. We cannot let this decision be the last word. I want to emphasize, we cannot let this decision be the last word. While the court can render a decision, it cannot change what America stands for. America is an idea, an idea unique in the world, an idea of hope and opportunity, of possibilities, of giving everyone a fair shot, of leaving no one behind. We've never fully lived up to it, but we've never walked away from it either. We will not walk away from it now. We should never allow the country to walk away from the dream upon which it was founded. That opportunity is for everyone, not just a few. We need a new path forward a path consistent with the law that protects diversity and expands opportunity.